Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Craft Center Training Series. Today we'll be discussing setting up the photochemicals. Part of your duties as volunteer at the Craft Center will be to prepare the studio for use by either classes or users that don't know how to set up the photochemicals themselves. This is a brief walkthrough for you. Before we begin, you'll need the 2290 key for this particular task. You can find that in the office right next to the front desk. The photochemicals in the large darkroom consist of fixer, stop bath, and developer. The stop bath and fixer are things that can be recycled and reused for a later time. We never recycle the developer, however. In the continual process of recycling these chemicals, sometimes they become exhausted. For the fixer, you'll have to check it with HypoCheck, which is located on the shelf with the rest of the chemicals. The stop bath will change colors from yellow to purple when it is exhausted and no longer fit to use. Every time that you set up the photochemicals, though, you'll have to mix new developer. We'll cover this process in detail further on in the video. Your first step when setting up the photochemicals is to check to make sure that there's enough recycled fixer and stop bath to use for the classes or for the user. The volunteer that we see here is checking the fixer with the hypo check. You do this to make sure that the fixer hasn't exhausted itself, since we recycle it several times. Pour the fixer into a small container, and then drop a few drops of the hypo check in. Let it mix a little bit, and watch for a white precipitate. If the fixer's exhausted, you'll see little white stringy bits floating around in the liquid. If the solution remains clear, you'll know that the fixer's still good to use. Slowly pour each chemical into their respective tray. Pour slowly to avoid splashing any chemicals onto your clothing or onto your skin. Should you come into contact with any of the chemicals, be sure to wash your hands shortly thereafter. After adding the fixer, we'll move on to the stop bath. It looks like the stop bath's empty, so you're going to have to use the 2290 key to open up the cabinet underneath the table and then refill the stop bath. Each respective photochemical has its own pitcher that are located near the trays. You'll need one, and we use them to avoid cross-contamination of the chemicals during these processes. Carefully slide the jug of overstock stop bath to the edge of the cabinet. You want to make sure that the spout is hanging over the edge. Once you properly position the jug, fill up the pitcher with 64 ounces of the fluid. After you've filled it to the correct amount, you can put it into the tray. After you've filled the stop bath up to the correct amount, be sure to slide the jug carefully back towards the back of the cabinet. Again, be sure that you're pouring the chemical into the correct tray and not to get any on your clothing or skin. Our final step will be to mix the developer. Mixing the developer is a very easy task, but you have to be careful and precise when doing so, since the concentration of developer needs to be very exact. Carefully remove the jug of concentrated developer and set it on the table inside the tray. Next, grab the small measuring cup. The first step in mixing the developer is to pour the concentrated developer into the photo measuring cup. There are two different amounts that you can use. One is for class use, and the total is 64 ounces. The second is for individual use, and the total is 48 ounces. The jug is marked with individual labels and lines to let you know what perfect amount that you need of the concentrated developer. We mix the concentrated developer with water at a 10 to 1 ratio. That means the final product will be 9 parts water and 1 part developer. The small measuring cup is marked with the respective amounts of developer that you'll need for this task. 4.8 ounces for individual use and 6.4 ounces for class use. Now that we've poured the correct amount of concentrated developer, we're going to pour that into the respective developer pitcher and then add water. Remember, if you're mixing for a class, you should end up with 64 total ounces of developer. If you're mixing for an individual, you'll end up with 48. So, slowly begin adding water into the pitcher. This demonstration was done for a class, so we had to mix 64 ounces of developer. 
When doing this yourself, be sure to work slowly and deliberately. Don't over dilute the developer, otherwise the developing times will be thrown off. As you approach a desired mark, slow the water flow down to a trickle. That way you'll get it dead on every time. Add the developer slowly to the last tray, and again, be sure not to splash any onto your clothing or onto your hands. After all the chemicals are safely in their trays, be sure that all the respective pitchers are in their correct place so that the person who cleans them up at the end of the night can find the pitchers easily. When you've safely put all the chemicals and your job is complete, be sure to replace the developer, the measuring cup, and anything else that you found in the cabinet back where it belongs. When that's done, you may lock the cabinet and head back downstairs and help the rest of your volunteers out. Be sure to catch our video on taking down the photochemicals and how to properly dispose of them. As always, thanks for watching and I hope this has demystified the process of setting up photochemicals for you. Have a great day. Bye.